I'm Deanna Schwartz, and I think Trump's impeachment is really necessary. I think Nancy Pelosi waited too long to do it. However, I, f I am very doubtful that it will have any sort of outcome because all the other investigations into this administration haven't really resulted in anything, and I've pretty much lost all hope. Uh, I would like for him to be impeached because I think he's an awful president and an awful person, but I am doubtful that anything will come of it. But basically, I come from China and there's no president stuff. Now, other Chinese students are not paying much attention to impeachment stuff since we have no such such a uh, tradition. I, you know, impeachment is the article, it's in the Constitution as sort of like a, what you can do if the president does things that they're not supposed to. And, um, like, foreign policy that's conducted not by, like, government officials and also foreign interference in elections is something that shouldn't be going on. So I think it's reasonable that they're doing this investigation. I don't think he did anything wrong. There's nothing wrong with giving a quid pro quo that, quo that happened like in the Bay of Pigs. Um, I mean, he's a, he's something, but <laughs> um, personally, I think they're more upset about losing the election than the fact that he actually did something impeachable, since pretty much every president has done something. I don't think this is big enough. So, you know, I can, I can give my opinion about Donald Trump all day. I mean, there was a time when if you heard the name Donald Trump, it was like a bad joke on Hannah Montana. Uh, but the whole thing about the matter of the inquiry is it's a very basic form of corruption. It is calling another country and saying, Please do this thing that benefits me personally, or I will withhold this service that benefits your country. And it's so simple and so gettable that if you can't impeach any president, whether it's Donald Trump or Barack Obama, if you can't impeach the president for something as simple as that, then you really can't impeach any president for anything. And that's obviously not what we want. Um, I'm also sad to see, you know, a Republican Party that I grew up with has so quickly devolved into a party that will die on the hill of defending uh, Donald Trump of all people. And I think Donald Trump is a great president because he is a businessman. He pay a lot of attention on the manufacturer things, and he bring a lot of factories such as Apple, some interns, uh, some companies like. Internize, interest and bring these things back to America and give a lot of American a lot of chance to pick a job in America and uh, to prevent for the loss of the money to other countries. And he also uh, bring an idea of uh, American dreams. And I think he's a great president and uh, that's all. I think it's long overdue personally. I think there's a lot of controversy um, over whether there's like enough evidence or if it's enough to actually be worth an impeachment, but I think personally that there's plenty and it's, there's, everyone's been sitting on it for a while and it's like a hard thing to talk about, but I think that it needs to be and a lot of the problems that he's questionably being like impeached for are very serious, like they're not, they shouldn't be taken lightly, like they have a very strong effect on large populations of this country, so I think it's about time and I'm glad that it's happening, potentially, so yes, I support it. And regarding Trump's impeachment, I think we should be focusing on electing the next president of the United States instead of impeaching this one. Um, actually, I don't have any opinions about this though, in this case, but I think the political is better for uh, the country have a big pictures of um, how to develop the country to be a better place. Uh, I can not pretty sure because you cannot tell based on the fact whether it can happen or not because currently uh, the Senate, uh, the House hold the majority Democrats and uh, they put some f effort of in, in it. But right now the Senate is held by uh, you know the majority is. Uh, Republican. So uh, I think 
there is a lot of uncertainty there. Uh, but um, I think the in impeachment of the presidents has uh, like little impact on our daily s studies and works. So uh, all I want to do is uh, focus on my study and uh, uh, my following work uh, to do well in those things. I think that Trump should be impeached. Uh, I don't think that he's a very good president and our well-being of the nation is kind of at risk when he's president. Um, so yeah. My name is Nicole. I'm a cybersecurity major and I agree that Trump should be impeached. Um, I think that aside from the polarizing view that he's brought to this nation as a whole, that what he did with Ukraine is unacceptable and that like honestly bribing what is a very poor country into dealings with the United States is kind of disgusting and shouldn't be a thing. <laughs> I think I support that. I agree because, um, you know, as international students, uh, I studied here like almost two years. Um, I think the for international students, the the job, the policy is too strict for us. So uh, when we want to find some job, the policy, the rules for us is more strict than the local people. So I think these rules, if he can change that, it's feel better for us to want to stay here. For me, I won't go back to China after graduate because it's too hard to find here, and even the policy is too strict. And he's really, you know, the stumbles to not easy to change his idea. I feel that he should be impeached because a lot of the things he's doing, everyone should be welcome into our country. And it says in the Constitution that everyone's welcome. I don't know if it does, but close enough. <laughs> um, I feel like he should be impeached because um, all the things he's done in the past that kind of, like he wanted the Mexicans to be out or like he doesn't like other people, I feel like he should because it's not fair. It's like saying if we win, to become president and we were like I don't want the whites to do whatever that's not fair so I feel like he should because it wouldn't be fair if he did that to everybody else yeah and I think he kind of forced it with the border yeah because I mean there's already you know border there and if he feels like unsafe that people are coming into the country illegally because they see that they feel that they're gonna have a better life here I think that they should be allowed to do it because it's hard to get um, a citizenship here because my dad, it took him a long time and it cost a lot of money. So that's why it took so long. So I think that he should be more lenient on that and that he hasn't and he, he's been closed-minded and, closed and xenophobic, so. My personal opinion on the Trump impeachment thing is that I feel like he should be impeached because he's like a really nasty person and like, the way he treats other people that aren't white is not right because he discriminated against them like talking about make America great again but yet he was post protesting to have a wall and I feel like he was excluding people that are not do not come here and he's not letting people come in I mean yeah I know our country's crowded but I feel like if more people come he should think about that is that's more economic that benefits our country economically more people come the more people that come here means the more money that's spent which means more money for the government which means more money that we make as a whole. And I feel like he should take that in consideration. I also feel like he should learn to accept everybody should be welcomed here in America, regardless if you're white, Asian, black, short, tall, whatever. I feel like you should be able to be here. And he also has made some very comments that were racist, homophobic, and all that stuff. So. That's my personal opinion. I think it's very dramatic now. To me, uh, I feel like I'm witness something a little bit ridiculous to me actually, because he's threatening another country's president to do him a favor. So he, he's abusing his power to me. So Taiwan is also facing our presidential election in January 2020. We have a candidate who is very similar to Donald Trump. And I, like, while I was, while I'm witnessing this impeachment in the U.S., I feel very concerned if he is also elected, will there be something similar happening in Taiwan in the future? 
So I feel very concerned thinking about this. Hi, I'm Matt Carroll. I'm a professor of the practice in the Northeastern University Journalism Department. The impeachment of President Trump is one of the monumental occurrences in our country's history. Uh, it's happening at a time when the country is incredibly divided, and frankly, I think this is going to be proved to be even more divisive. Uh, but on the other hand, we need to know the facts, and hopefully the impeachment process will lay out a lot of facts for people so that people who are following the process can understand what happened. And I think at the end of that process, we'll have a much better idea of what the president did or what he didn't do. And uh, once we have the facts, then it's then it's a time for the country to proceed from there. And we'll see some votes in the in the House and the Senate, and then we'll see what happens.